Hello everybody, I'm Thurston Last, and today we're going to take a look at the final test mission in the prologue of the Hitman Beta. Hitman's going to be released March 11th, and uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to go in here and do the final test and get the Silent Assassin along with the signature kill of the ejection seat. So, this is a little more complicated compared to the other mock-up mission. The final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission, the high point of training Director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous US chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. Soda's caught up with Knight at a military airfield in Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This is your objective as well. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult. Not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, he even added additional guards. Sodas wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program will not raise any eyebrows. He did not, however, in factor fact me into the equation. If Sodas can bend the rules, then so can I. Good luck, Initiate. All right, so just to recap, Getting Silent Assassin in the old game series always required that you had no other casualties or kills other than the target. No alerts. You could, though, render someone unconscious and take their clothes. So, we're going to move in here. Did you print out the safety protocol for the jet? Eh, it's on the clipboard. Look, you really have to do this? Things considered. We're putting a pasty-faced egghead inside a Mach 3 fighter jet. Yeah, I kind of think we do. <sighs> I get it, I get it. Safety first and all that. I don't care which one of you does it, it's mandatory. Just tick the box and get it done. Escape by fighter jet. Sounds dangerous. Alright, I actually choose not to take out the security guard class. There's there's another soldier class of guard further up, and um, I usually go with them to get entry to the building. It's very, very difficult, but not impossible, to get access to the building while in the, the standard, like, uh, turtleneck and cargo pants. However, a couple of times that I've played through this, it seems to me as though the aircraft mechanic actually has the highest level of uh, movability and the discretion. He can move upstairs and none of the other guard classes will suspect you, not even the KGB unique officer. The only people that can seem to make a aircraft mechanic are the other aircraft mechanics. Alright, you saw me pick up the coin there by the car. The, the distraction coin is, is not given to you. You have to pick it up in mission by that black card near the uh, front guard. So what we're going to do is going to wait for this guy to move and we're going to toss the coin distract the other guard and get him to, to move over to us. Get him to relocate before we take him down. Now I'm not going to use the garrot, the fiber wire, I'm going to go for a uh, non-lethal takedown on him. Huh? I think I just saw something. Go check it out. Yep. That's pretty cool. You actually get a, uh, an audible uh, from the other guard that he's delegating to the other guard to go check it out, even though he heard it first. Probably just all right, let's move loser. in. Oh, man, I missed it. Sorry. So that can still be done quietly, although if the other guard is in a radius, uh, those types of, of loud takedowns are still louder. Quiet but loud. The, uh, the other one that you get is a, like a rear naked choke. Um, and then it gives you a prompt to tap X if you want to actually choke your target out, or you can apply lethal force and break their neck. That's a pretty cool gameplay mechanic right there. All right, let's get this guy hidden. Don't want to be caught with a dead body. Much better. All right, so that's that's something that's been in the game since uh, Blood Money, I believe. The little disposable boxes. Now, this class of guard can carry a weapon uh, either on their back or in their hands, and it's not suspicious grab that hammer as well. 
Another thing that they've added uh, that actually was in the game uh, since contracts, if you drop a weapon in sight of a, of a regular guard, he will go and pick it up and go place it at uh, a couple of, of locations that are, that are placed strategically around the map. They're little weapons bins. So you can get guards to move out of your way using that sort of a distraction as opposed to, say, the coin or uh, creating a loud noise or something. All right, let's post up here for a second. You'll also notice some of the guards have white dots above their heads. Those guards can make you as an individual. They can they can see right through your disguise, but not every guard of the same class disguise as you will be able to make you. As you can see, this guard here, he uh, he might not recognize the other guy, so we're going to go ahead and go in this way. It's only a matter of time before Langley catches Now we have to interact with this clipboard to uh, go further along with the uh, ejection seat assassination. Jasper Knight certainly knows how to make an exit, but first he needs to test the jet's safety equipment, including the ejector seat. Huh. All right. Now, when you move through this area in the soldier clothes, stay underneath the balcony about where I'm at. Sometimes this balcony guard has a tendency to come out and spot you, so you'll see it right here. Yeah, go ahead. Disable the ejector seat. Now, as we move in, we're going to go to the left into this bathroom area. Uh, there's a free aircraft mechanic suit clothing item outfit. It's right here on this bench. We're going to grab that. Vodka in a military airfield? I know, but at least pretend you're looking. That man is KGB, pretty high up the chain at that. Those guys don't take too kindly to failure. I hear you. The officer in charge has ordered airfield security to get him a bottle of vodka. He will probably offer Knight a drink as well. That is, provided he is able to drag the Grand Master away from his chess game. I really like how you can you can pick and choose uh, whether you want to actively track an alternate assassination method or uh, infiltration method. That's pretty cool. Although I hope there is still some pre-planning that comes into the final game. Alright, I went ahead and you can see I dropped the rifle. Aircraft mechanics don't really have any of a rifle and it's not concealable, so we're going to get rid of that. Now, next we actually have to re-engage the injection mechanism, so this is the kind of tricky part. Dodge these two aircraft mechanics here, and make sure you pick up the wrench. You'll need a wrench, not a hammer, to re-engage it. Then, they go like, we don't know what to do. Pablo, where are you? All right, next we actually have to go find the target, Mr. Jasper Knight. So this guy's usually upstairs, either playing chess with himself or uh, he'll may have a conversation with that yeah, KGB officer. So shoot me. They might just do that. Those are military secrets. Uh, a bunch of projector slides, travel route or something. Pretty dull, really. Well, there's a soldier coming by to fetch him, so stay clear, okay? Friendly advice. All right, I hear you. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? Playing chess at a time like this? He's 90 miles from U.S. soil. CIA Mr. Is Mechanic. And his hands don't even... <laughs> like I said, the aircraft mechanic uh, can pretty much move unobstructed pretty freely up in the upstairs area. No one seems to get suspicious. Uh, if you're not sure where the target is and you have to find him and talk to him, you can use, as you'll see I'm going to show you, you can use the instinct mode, which allows you to highlight... Uh, any guards that you've just recently seen, and uh, VIP kind of people, like this fella here is the KGB officer. Alright, there's the target. So it's pretty easy to just uh, speak to the target and have him follow you Agrees, down to the aircraft. Jesper Knight, we gotta go over the safety protocol. Follow me, please. Oh, must we really? Now, I know what you're thinking, we could probably just hit him here on the way down, maybe move into a hallway or stairwell where they can't see. But he has a, uh, a soldier bodyguard that follows him around everywhere. He's never really more than like seven, eight feet around from him. So it's, it's, it's best to do it down at the aircraft and get that signature kill. Also, for whatever reason, the soldier doesn't seem to find that suspicious. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna play it out. He seems to have some trouble following sometimes. He doesn't stay really close. Uh, you'll see here, he moves around the door and uh, kind of gets hung up. All right, let's, let's keep moving here. 
Remember to be aware of those aircraft mechanics. They're the only thing that can throw a wrench in the works at this point. Wait for them to move and collapse on each other, have their backs to you. That's the time to move. If they do seem to pick you up, keep your face away and just keep moving. And you'll see here, if you get behind an object or break line of sight a little bit, all that suspicion meter goes away. Okay, where is this guy? I thought he... Okay, he's not coming down behind me. Guess we have to go and... Uh, I guess he, re he really does not want to come down here. He's like, oh man, do I really? Do I have to get in that thing? Jeez, dude, this, this is a mamby-pamby for sure. Ah, we found you. Come along now. Night to C6. <laughs> ah, that's so funny. All right, here we go. Come on, here we go. There you go. Man, you look like you got the trots, dude. All right, not bad. So I know this looks pretty easy, but avoiding those suspicion meters from the... Uh, other aircraft mechanics is just pretty crucial at this point. And then, you know, not doing anything really, really silly like pulling out a firearm. That would probably be bad as well. Okay. All right, let's get the show on the road. In the cockpit, please. Uh huh. All right. Easy. One, one step at a time. Step one, strap yourself in. Uh, okay, all strapped in. Step two, locate the ejector seat handle. Uh, yes, found it. Step three. Pull the ejector seat handle. Uh, right. Here it goes. Pull. Pull. All right, well, we're not quite out of the water yet. You have to put down the clipboard oh and walk out. So, as you can see, no one really found that suspicious. I'm not interacting with anything. He did it all himself. So you get the accidental kill. No other casualties. We're going to uh, walk back out here. And I'm actually going to change into my uh, entry clothes. If you go right through the same window and the guard booth, you should be fine. Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty. 